What I will say is that any product that you're putting on top of hair that has breakage, it's not going to be repairing anything. I, I mean, you guys, please, please, please let me know a product that reverses damage. Hey guys, um, the title pretty much sums up what I want to talk about today. Um, so let's just get into it. <sighs> I feel like no company, especially natural hair companies, should be selling anything with the title hair growth. Now, you can do this if you want, but at the end of the day, it's going to be your decision. It's going to be your decision and it's going to be your responsibility to deal with the customers that don't achieve the desired results with your product. <clears throat> Maybe the solution to this issue would just to be adding a disclaimer, like we do not claim to grow hair, we do not claim to blah, 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 and make a little disclaimer. We are not legally going to be held to any of the things that we said our product actually does. Okay, so the main reason why I don't think that any business should be selling anything with the title hair growth, but like hair growth oil specifically, is because once your product leaves your business and arrives to the customer, you are out of control with how the customer uses the product. For me, I wrote directions on the bottle how to use a luxury hair serum for optimal results. I cannot force any of my customers to use my products how they are intended to be used. And I just never want anybody to come back to me and say hey you know the product didn't work for me because i'm not in your house with you applying the product to your scalp on a daily basis so i don't really know if you're using it in the way that i intended you to be using the product um so this is why i created an oil and titled it the luxury hair serum the luxury hair serum has about 10 carrier oils, um, two essential oils, and fenugreek seeds. So like a thing that a lot of people don't know is that my serum is what a lot of people would consider a hair growth oil. But I'm not going to market my serum as a hair growth oil because if a person let's say I, I i said you know apply it to the scalp three times a week for optimal results because when it comes to doing something every day like your body's really going to get used to it so i say apply the luxury hair serum three times a week for optimal results so let's say somebody is applying the serum once every two weeks and they're saying they're not getting results they're gonna say oh yeah you know crafted complexions luxury hair serum you know if it were titled a hair growth serum oh it's not working for me and it's like i don't want to create false promises because the consumer <laughs> the consumer is responsible <laughs> the consumer is responsible for actually taking the product applying the product and using the product in the way that it is intended to be used. So that is part of the reason for me why I did not title my luxury hair serum a hair growth oil. I, I just don't want any parts of me creating a product that I know works and then people using it inconsistently and then being like, where are the results? So, um, yeah, 
yeah that's just personally how i feel about like companies and businesses making these products and saying like and you know what and it's just like there's so many situations where even the non-black hair companies they will sit up here and they will um label a lot of things hair growth and i think that for the majority of people these little um descriptions like damage you know fix damaged hair fixes dry hair fixes brittle hair increases hair growth rapid hair growth like all of those phrases that don't really mean anything and like cannot be proven um those lure in the people that have problems with actually growing their hair and i feel like it does lead to false advertisement because a lot of these they'll, they'll buy every single pro product in the store every single new line that comes out by any company is like okay let me buy this let me buy that let me let me just try this because i'm having problems with growing my hair and the reality is there may be other factors diet related or health related pre-existing conditions that are preventing you from growing your hair that you don't know about so i i i personally i don't i don't think that doing this is the smartest because somebody that has an internal issue going on could say hey oh like this person you know they have these before and after photos the ingredients look good like it's really it's really buy at your own risk because people that are having internal issues going on could buy a product that is labeled hair growth oil with the hopes of it fixing all of their issues and it's like no you need to go to a doctor <laughs> so if you've purchased the luxury hair serum in the past you will probably see the benefits that come along with the serum contributing to your hair health but i am not going to market the product as yeah so you know buy the luxury hair serum it's gonna grow your hair 12 inches in two weeks i just cannot bring myself to market it as that because once the product gets to the consumer i don't have any control over them using the um product consistently applying it in a way that actually makes sense covering the entire scalp like people that that have problems you know that aren't having internal issues or alopecia or anything people that are having internal um problems with their hair um people that are having problems with hair growth sometimes those problems are length retention related you can apply as much of the luxury hair serum as you want topically but until you work on retaining length to your hair i'm not gonna say that every year you're wasting money on my product you're, you're never going to waste money on the luxury hair serum because it is a great investment but what i will say is that any product that you're putting on top of hair that has breakage it's not going to be repairing anything i i mean you guys please 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 let me know a product that reverses damage other than other than um that clay mask other than afoji and other than olaplex I'm talking about an oil that reverses damage. I, I'll be surprised if y'all let me know. I will really be surprised, but there are not, to my knowledge, any oils on the market that reverse damage. So there are no oils, in my opinion, that will grow your hair, including the very, very important fact that your hair growth is predetermined the speed at which your hair grows is predetermined by genetics so you cannot say I'm going to apply this to my hair I'm gonna apply that to my hair and it's gonna make my hair grow four inches this month your hair already grows at the same rate and it's gonna grow at the same rate until actually I'm not gonna say it's gonna grow at the same rate because sometimes the, the hair growth can 
slow down as you age. But the moral of the story is if you have a business, please, please be careful with how you name your products because the name of your product is insinuating a result that may not be in your control. And it's very important to not mislead your customers to think that a certain result will happen if they use a certain product. You can go about this by providing disclaimers, providing um, results that other people have experienced, but I do think it's important to not I don't think it's smart to say that your product is 100% guaranteed to provide a certain result because once the product leaves your company, it's hard to tell if people are actually doing what is intended with the product. So please let me know y'all. I really want to know, are there oils that reverse damage other than other than the ones that I listed. And um, what is your opinion on either being a business owner and selling products specifically with hair growth in the title or being a consumer that has purchased something with hair growth in the title and been disappointed after or and, and, fo and followed the directions and was still disappointed after. Um, yeah, please let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.